today's top news, we bring you the latest developments in the Karnataka political landscape. The long-standing logjam over the chief ministerial race between Siddarmia and DK Shivkumar has finally come to an end. After days of intense negotiations and discussions, DK Shivkumar has agreed to the formula that Siddarmia will be the chief minister of Karnataka, with DK Shivkumar as his only deputy. The decision came after several rounds of meetings, and according to DK Shivkumar, it was a call from Rahul Gandhi that played a decisive role. DK Shivkumar, speaking to the media, said, "Everything is well. Everything will be well. Everything is going to be well." We made a one-line decision that whatever the high command decides, we will abide by it. Ultimately, Rahul Gandhi called me and said that you all have to work together. Shivkumar also mentioned that Congress President Mallikarjun Khadge called them and issued the directive, which they all accepted. Siddarmia and DK Shivkumar had been in Delhi for the past few days, lobbying for their respective candidatures. They met Mallikarjun Khadge separately on Tuesday. while rahul gandhi held discussions with khadge kc venugopal and randeep singh surjewala on wednesday both siddarmia and dk shivkumar met rahul gandhi shivkumar had also sought sonia gandhi's opinion as she had appointed him as the president of the state party unit sonia gandhi advised them to speak to rahul and khadge the decision that siddarmia would be the chief minister and dk shivkumar his only deputy while also leading the party was made during an overnight meeting on wednesday however they met once again for breakfast at kc venugopal's residence before proceeding to khadge's residence accompanied by venugopal and surjewala shivkumar reportedly expressed his understanding that he still has time on his side to become a chief minister in the future considering his age siddarmia who is 75 years old had announced before the election that it would be his last This power tussle in Karnataka has not only created a political rift but also fueled debates between the Congress and the BJP. Our political analyst is here to shed light on the situation. The power struggle within the Congress party in Karnataka has given the BJP an opportunity to question the internal feud. However, the Congress has retaliated by challenging the BJP to introspect on why the people of Karnataka rejected them and Prime Minister Modi in the recent elections. Supriya Shrinath, a Congress spokesperson, stated, "We are proud to be spoiled for choice. The BJP should instead introspect why the 6.5 crore Kannadigas have humiliatingly rejected them and PM Modi. We will keep you updated. Subscribe to Budgav Mail and stay tuned."